to my channel welcome to another video excuse the mess that is me and my room and just everything um i'm feeling really rotten i'm not gonna lie but i thought i would do a little day in the life and show you what basic things i'm getting up to because i can't really cope with doing much at the minute um today is what day is it i don't know i'm gonna have to double check i don't know what day it is Today is Wednesday, that's the first problem, is the fact that now I'm not working, um, I don't know what day it is, <laughs> it all just blurs into one, um, I look really rough like I haven't slept, but I can assure you, it is half twelve now, I went to bed at eleven last night, woke up at about eight, nine o'clock, did some bits on my phone I've had another little nap since then um yeah and I think now I'm gonna have a shower this is like the reality <laughs> this is the side of pregnancy that I don't think anyone really speaks about not all that much anyway um certainly not that I've seen uh you know you see all these like pregnant women with like this healthy glow and they're all happy and you know motivated and getting on with stuff and yeah that, that's not the reality for me um I went to hospital at 4am on Saturday morning I spent seven hours in there hooked up to a couple of drips and various other things which I'll talk about in my symptoms um, video which I don't know if it's before this or after this but I'll try and remember to link it down below when it does go live um, just to explain more about it in there and yeah I've been feeling rotten ever since to be fair um, I can't even remember the last time I showered wash my hair or anything I did last night whilst I was watching TV managed to paint my nails which made me feel so much better I know that's really vain and you know I know that's not top priority um, but it was just like I did something for me which was better than just sticking my head down the toilet all the time um, yeah I currently nearly 17 weeks I'll be 17 weeks on Friday um, and I was really hoping I would be feeling better by now I've bought a natural collection um, tinted moisturiser and a concealer so that when I do have days out and stuff I don't look as rough as this um, but yeah I think I'm going to try and eat I've got a special K bar that's been sat here for a couple of weeks so I'm going to maybe try and eat that I don't even know what it is Although it's got wheat in it, so that's probably going to make me sick because anything with wheat in, I seem to not like at the minute. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to quickly eat that and then jump in the shower, wash my hair because, yeah, this is my hair. It's just like a matted mess at the minute. Like I said, I can't remember when I last um, had a shower or wash or anything, to be honest. Um, it was certainly last week, like, as skanky as that sounds to me. Like, I just couldn't face getting in the shower. Getting in the shower is actually one of my worst things at the minute. Because I stand there and I'll shampoo and everything for a couple of minutes, then I feel shaky and faint. So, I don't like doing it when I'm on my own, but needs must today because everybody is out of house. Um, but yeah, so... I also have been wearing these pyjamas since Friday and I think I've only changed my knickers once which I know is really gruesome <laughs> but I've basically just gone from lying in bed to lying on the sofa I did start doing a Lucy is it wind and read? I never know how to say her name um, pregnancy workout it was a really simple workout just marching on the spot doing some arm movements just getting like the blood circulating and stuff I didn't break out in a sweat I felt really good after doing it but that was Thursday and then 
Friday I was really poorly. And I don't know if it was just a coincidence or if I then became too weak after doing that or like I didn't have enough is it electrolytes or however you say it. As you can tell I'm not very good at pronunciation. Um, yeah I don't know if maybe that dipped too low which then made me ill because they said that I was really ill because I had low energy um, which then just made me iller and iller to the point then I was really dehydrated. Um, so I don't know if it's that because when I used to go to the gym several times a week I know I suffered with that when I wasn't even pregnant so I do wonder if maybe that was the cause. So I need to do some research into things that I can eat and drink to help me in pregnancy I think because I feel shocking right now. Um, and I've completely lost my appetite because I just don't want to be sick. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to have my shower, then I'm going to have some water because I know that I haven't had any water this morning and like I say it's already afternoon so that's not good, I'm not really helping myself there. Um, and then I've been watching on Netflix, it's called I Am Georgina, um, it's Cristiano Ronaldo's uh, missus I guess, partner, girlfriend, um, it's like a reality TV series that follows her, now obviously she speaks, I don't know if it's Spanish or Portuguese or, she speaks that kind of language because she's from Argentina, um, so it's got English dubbed over the top which I'm not always a fan of but I really got to grips with that when I was watching Cable Girls, which if you haven't seen is an amazing, amazing series. I think there's like seven series or something. It's a fit complete series now. Um, they finished it. Um, and yeah, what a, what an absolute whirlwind that series is. It's one of the best series I think I've ever watched. Um, to start with, it's hard to get past the like is it ad lipping um and like the english dubbed over the top and stuff but like as long as you concentrate on their face and the things that are going on around them you don't really notice that their lips aren't moving in time with what's being said um yeah and one of the funny enough just as a side note one of the characters names one of the cable girls names is actually on my baby list because I loved it so much um but that aside we'll we'll talk about that baby names and stuff further down the line um but yeah so I'm really enjoying the I am Georgina series at the minute it's on series two and um the first series was done Evidently through COVID because a lot of places she visited they opened it up just for her because they were closed because of COVID um, and This series must have been filmed Last year I want to say um, Because it follows them as they obviously find out they're pregnant um, and then subsequently the first episode, not to spoil it for anybody as such, but the first episode shows a bit of her pregnancy, her talking about finding out she's pregnant, then finding out it's twins, um, and like a little bit like that. But then it also, the last like third I would say, then goes on to talk more about the fact that she only got to bring one twin home. Um, she doesn't go into the medical side of what happened and, uh, you know, I think that's completely fair that she wants to keep that private and stuff but it kind of shows the journey and just how strong they are in a way as a family unit to um, have this mixed emotion of you've lost your child but you still have this new life that you need to look after. Um, it was quite eye-opening. I think I'm like two or three episodes into that series now um, and yeah I'm really enjoying it. Like the first series I was a bit like, oh I don't think I'm going to enjoy this, it's a bit pretentious and a bit flashy and a bit showy, um, but actually I think it shows the comparison for series 2 really well and series 2 so far has been way way better so if you do decide to watch it I definitely think 
persevere um, because yeah series two is is looking good so far um, so I'm probably going to go and sit down and watch a bit of that I was really pleased to see as well um, that they put the hills on uh, Netflix as well but they've only put series one and two and I've already binged watched them but the good news is I have got all six series sat to the side of me so I can just um, put the rest of them on I've got the box set so I might just put them on at some point as well um, I'm going to be packing today but whilst I'm feeling sick I just haven't got the energy to do that um, but I might give it a go later we'll see we'll see how I feel um, if not Ash said he's going to give me a hand at the weekend and then we can just load the boxes straight into the van so I kind of feel like that might be the better option anyway because we're limited for space in this house it's a two bedroom house there's not much space we're tripping over each other as it is and I just think having boxes and stuff is never a good idea um, and not only that, the boxes, the suitcases, things like that, Trix gets stressed and upset because she thinks that we're going away and leaving and like she's going on holly bobs or something, um, which obviously I am leaving, but I'm not leaving her as such and she's not going to be on her own and she's going to be looked after and I'm going to be coming back as often as I can. Um, so yeah, it's just that A, the place we're going to don't accept pets which I cannot wait for that law to hopefully be introduced where landlords can't say you can't have pets <laughs> because I'll be dragging her straight up there for a little stay um, but my main reason for that is because she's settled here she's got a routine her normal vet that she likes and seems to get on really well with she gets all excited when she sees him and stuff um, he's here and I just think it'd be cruel to move her at this stage in her life. She, you know, she's 10 years old. She's set in her ways. This has got a, like a garden that she can run in and out of. There's a park not far away. I apologise about the lighting. By the way. <laughs> There's a park not far away um, that she can go and play. And I just think it'd be cruel to, to move her now. Um, and I think she would be pining to come back. So, yeah, I'm not going to move her if given the opportunity if it becomes like yes you can have pets then of course she's coming up for a visit you know she's coming up to stay for a few days or for a week here and there that kind of thing um but yeah unfortunately she's never gonna live with me which when I think too deeply I get sad but then I realize what an amazing life she has got here so um yeah it is it is what it is and I know she'll be well looked after here and she'll just be even more spoiled because I spoil her every time she comes, I come down and she knows it. Um, but yeah, I've been talking for 13 minutes now so <laughs> I'm going to eat my special K bar and go and have a shower. Shower all done and what I said, I don't know if it was in this video or my symptoms video because I filmed the two videos where I sat there. Um, but I'm out of puff now. <laughs> Just goes to show the simplest of tasks. It can be really, really difficult. Um, I've got one bit of hair that won't go. I've just clipped my hair back, to be honest. It's all washed, hence why I look a bit weird. Um, but I don't think I've actually showed you my bump. I was meant to show you in the first um, trimester video, and I forgot. And I don't think I've really shown my bump in a video since I've taken photos but they're not photos that I would ever put on the internet because it's usually when I'm not really wearing anything um but I'll spin you around show my outfit which is very very basic and yeah show your bump as well so my outfit is this Primark long length vest top thing I showed it in one of my Primark hauls recently I went for a size large so just like went up a bit and there's still quite a bit of room in it so it's not too bad you can see where it's starting to pull over my tummy slightly and then I've just got on some ASOS maternity cycle shorts which I picked up on Vinted which as a side note I'm addicted to Vinted right now <laughs> um but yeah here excuse all the mess I've already said about the mess in my room but here is Bump cooking nicely 
and apparently the size of a turnip. So I don't know what all this extra is, whether it's fluid or just things moving, but I feel massive. <laughs> anyway, now I need to get some fluid into me and something else to eat. I must say though, I must say though, I feel so much better for having a shower, um, even if I am at a puff. I feel so, so much better. So, yeah, that's good. So I've just, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the background, apologies if it's really loud, um, but I've just put a load of washing on and the sun is shining so it has to be a good day. I'm also just drinking a pint of milk, <laughs> as you do, because that is what the hospital recommended for me to have, um, just to get lots of nutrients into me. I've got a little hot dog. Who's been sunning herself by the back door, haven't you? And now you've got too hot. Yeah. What are you going to do? Are you going to lie in your bed or are you going to come and lie on the sofa with me? It's hot in it, my darling. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you got me. You got me. Sit down, then, because you're digging your elbow in my bump. You're camera shy. I'm not even sure if you're going to actually be able to um, hear me because I've got the fan on but it's just way too hot to not have the fan on even for a couple of minutes. Um, it's probably not as hot as what I think it is but it's because I've been packing some bits up ready for the move, it's empty. Pretty much all of these shelves down here, I've still got these but I've run out of boxes for now. Also run out of energy and willpower, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, so. That's filled a couple of boxes up, but I'm exhausted now, so I'm just going to have a lie down with the fan and a dog. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I'll probably fill those shelves up with other stuff that needs packing and then I can just put them into a box. Um, maybe do it that way, because there's some stuff I'll need right until last minute oh, and the sub stuff that I don't want to leave unattended at the flat like more valuable stuff like personal documents things like that um, so yeah I need to put that to one side to take up when I actually go well I thought I would just check in because as you can probably tell it's the next day and I didn't really do anything yesterday, um, and to be honest I haven't really done anything today that I could even tag on. Um, so I will probably stretch this to just film some clips over the weekend because today is Friday. <sighs> I'm just currently watching Olivia marries her match. I'm so into, I don't know what's going on with my dress, um, I'm so into reality TV like at the minute, but reality TV that based around like one person I'm not into like the only way is Essex or anything like that where it's all group drama and stuff um I don't really enjoy that anymore but something where it's like a standalone show like I love Olivia marries a match I love watching I am Christine no I am Christine I love watching I am Georgina I watched like a reality documentary thing on JLo like anything like that I find I'm really enjoying so um yeah Trix is just what's it gonna show tucked up all cute and asleep 
Sure, she looks adorable. She was cuddled into me earlier, but I think it's just getting a bit too hot for her. So she's gone off into the chair to have a snooze. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on taking her out for the day tomorrow, maybe to the beach or something. I don't know what the weather's going to be like. Um, oh. And then maybe take her in to surprise mum at work, because I think she'll like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I haven't really achieved much. I am not feeling my greatest self today, so I'm currently drinking orange juice, because that's what the hospital recommended. But as a standalone thing, I don't actually like orange juice, but... For the greater good, I'm doing it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just have like two of these little 200ml uh, boxes a day to try and keep sickness away and keep my energy up. And yeah, I don't want to end up like last weekend. But yeah, nothing else to report. It's very boring at the minute. <laughs> Tricks, you've been walkies. Thank you. Are you tired? 